first I applied a base coat and then I applied a pink nail polish and you can use any color that you want of course I'll put the name of the nail polish I used in the description box in case you want to know and then I'm going to take a white acrylic paint and a nail art brush or small paintbrush and I just made a dot in the center for the rose and I'm going to make three C shapes for the petals and you see that I have little gaps in between them we'll get to that later and I messed up here so what you can do to clean mess ups is take a clean toothpick and just take it off when it's a little bit more dry it's very easy so see the gaps here for the bigger petals I'm going to start it in between those gaps and end it in between those gaps so hopefully you can see what I was talking about and then I'm going to take the same white and I'm going to make a couple of dots making sure that there's enough space in between so that I can make um, other dots in silver so here I'm just filling in the extra spaces with silver glitter nail polish and I place that in the center of the rose and in just random places on the rose that I thought would look nice and now for the gradient glitter, what I did, I don't even think I need to explain this, but um, is I took just a little bit on the brush and you could go as high up as you want. And I'm just going to place that all over. So I did it a little bit further up than halfway on my nail. And then each time you're going to let that dry and then each time you're going to go in with a little bit more and focus it more on the bottom so every time you place more glitter you're going to put less and less on the nail and put it more on the bottom and for the final uh, step I just place the glitter at the very 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 tip of the nail so I get something like this and each nail is a little bit different of course because it's free handed but I hope you guys try this out and put your own spin to it. You don't have to use white acrylic paint. You can use like red to actually make a rose that looks like a rose. Or pink rose or you know anything. Just um, use your imagination and do it to however your style is. The good thing about this is it's very glittery and girly. So if you like that stuff then this is probably something you want to try out. Here's an example of how you can completely redo the look by using almost the same steps. Instead of drawing the rose, I placed a rhinestone and instead of doing pink and silver, I did white with silver and I reversed where the silver glitter was coming from. So you can see that it completely changes the look, but it's using basically the same techniques. 